Okay, so today's project is to replace the screens. We were actually going to get, we actually did go buy a screen repair kit, but you know, it just makes little squares on everything, and this screen actually has more holes in it than I realized, if you can see. So we're just going to go ahead and replace the screens on this and get that done today. We're lucky this weekend it was supposed to rain and it has not. So we're trying to get as much done as we can. And then once the screens are replaced, um, we got a can of contact cement since we've got such small areas to cover with a carpet. And then um, some disposable brushes so Matt can just come in and we can like hand, um, hand install the adhesive and just make little patches for where the carpet does not meet so we can finish the inside of this today. First thing we have to do is see these screws, they're a uh, square head. So we're gonna have to get those out and then I don't know if you can see right here they had pop rivets in holding on the screen on the sliding part so what we're going to do is Matt is going to drill the pop rivets out. We actually have pop rivet down here. So we're going to start taking these out and then take out the pop rivet screws. And then what should happen is once this comes off, this trim right here, we should be able to just lift the screen off of it. And then I'm going to take it. I have a white charcoal pencil. I'm going to take it and lay it on the new screen and use that as a template so we know what size to cut. And we should technically just be able to put it back underneath the rim right here, screw this back down, and then this is going to have to be pop riveted back to secure it back on this section. So we were going to get the no seam stuff, but we really want to take advantage of the weather. We didn't want to um, order it. And uh, so we just, it's probably about this, this size. So it's not, it's not great, but it's screen it'll work. Well, I'll start drilling out these rivets right here. All right, Matt's gonna work on drilling out the rivets while I'm gonna work on trying to unscrew these bolts. What? I was just thinking my little cussing talk right a while ago is going to be great on a bloopers reel at the end of the year. <laughs> Holy crap, because I'm about to set everything on fire. I got the two rivets loose on the screen side. I need to drill out this right here. That scared me. Because this is the bump stop for the window. I need to get that out so I can get the back side of the rivet out right there to make room for the new one. That looks good. The problem on this side, the center of the rivet didn't pull through all the way, so I gotta try and drill the center of it out first. The uh, the little stem. Nothing is ever easy. No. When it when it should be. Okay, well I got these screws loosened on this side. Oh, you did? So. Okay. Well, let's see how how easy it comes. Oh, I need to drill off that top that top here. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll leave it on you because you didn't get through. I'm 
go. Okay, let's see how easy this out? comes out. I might need a flat head screwdriver. Let me get it at the house. Tough. Is it? God. Yep. Well, the problem is, is it's because this is a stupid square head. It's just about almost stripped out. Like I'll, I have never understood why anyone no, uses those. They don't want to grab at all. And when you have screws that have been in there for freaking years, collecting moisture and rusting and all kinds of buildup. Yeah, my wrists are actually gonna freaking hurt me tonight. I'm just going to rip this out and then get the rest out with the screwdriver. That wasn't the point. It's it's getting in my way. I thought the whole thing was just supposed to slide out. Some of it is and some of it's not because, again, it's been in there a while. Actually, a lot of it is coming out the way it should. to wash both sides of the windows. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe I should go get some freaking windows mm. and paper towels for real. Yeah, yeah. We actually have both sides of the screen out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unroll this new screen and I'm going to lay this on it and kind of use it as a template. I couldn't find my chalk, but I do have a white charcoal pencil. So I'm hoping that that'll work. I don't know. The charcoal does bark on there, Jeez. but just in case it didn't, I also brought out a sharpie so I could trace the design on the back of this box and use that if I had to. But it looks like the charcoal pencil is going to work just fine. This is, we got 36 inches of screen, 36 by 84. So, and I think it's about the same size openings as the regular screen. Now, where's my damn pencil? Oh, it's under the box. See, that's where I cut that end of screen because of what they did. Let's start with the flat edge up here. Cheese and now, parts of it I did had to cut out, so we might want to make it a little I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Purpose. Because I was trying to get it out without it doing this, but it was not that possible. Yes. Scissors are already freaking ruined. Hold that in tight, please.
Well, these aren't good for material anymore, but they work on screen like mm -hmm. a boss. I'm going to use this one as a template for the other one. Okay. Okay, so this is actually day two. We ran out of daylight last night because everything went wrong. Uh, we were actually hoping the screens would not be that bad, but nothing is ever easy. So, to refresh you, which I guess you don't need to refresh because it's the same vlog. I have cut the screens out of the new screen. And so what Matt has to do, we had to go to the store last night and get some channel lock, some like bead lock stuff. So he's got to poke the screen with some channel lock into this. There's a little groove in here. I don't know if you can see it because of the light, but he's got to channel lock that because this has got the straight edge has to be attached here and then once it's attached it's windy once it's attached then we can try to like poke it up through the trim we're trying to avoid taking the entire window trim off because god that would really be a pain just to do like this is not even half of the sliding part's not even half of the window it's like a third so having to take the entire window trim off to do a third of it would be a pain so we're going to try once he finishes that and gets it to reattach back to here, we're going to try to choose, um, be able to poke it down through to where the screws are. I don't know about the baby. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, do you think we can get it pried away enough? Because look, this we'll is see. the whole thing right here. This, I thought that this was a cap, but this is the entire freaking, mm -hmm. I'm going to scream. We'll see. You know what? I'm not going to lie. If I get really aggravated about this, then what we're going to do is we're going to stretch some pantyhose across here. Some black pantyhose. And that's going to be our screen because I might have to, um, might have to use a little bit of Southern ingenuity to get that done. If I can't get it done, mm -hmm. I'm going to get it done somehow. Ugh. Pretty good. Hope so. So show what you're doing. I'm I'm zooming in. I'm just trying to use some vice grips to um, push it in there. If you use like a, a flathead screwdriver, you'll risk tearing it. Did we do good? Did we get the right size? Yeah, I think we did. I think this might, I think this might work. After it's all pressed in, I'll probably come back with a hammer and just make sure that's in there good. And we'll see how easy or tough it is to put it back in the window. <laughs> oh.
I will not be doing this because right now this is one person type of deal, I think. Well, first, what I need to do is rivet the strip back on there. Oop, I need to finish drilling out that one. Okay. So if if you have to pop rivet this in first, and then we can't put the screen in the way we want to, and we have to take all the trim off, you're going to have to drill those out again, right? Yeah, but it, it wouldn't be tough. I love having one of those. It's always nerve-wracking to use a popper gun next to glass, so. Oh, I'm sure. actually have our own pop rivet gun because we oh, use on. rivets to make harnesses for cosplay so any cosplayer should have a rivet gun in their uh -huh. arsenal if you make your own stuff I do miss cosplaying me too Okay. I feel like if we both try to get in there and do that, there's not going to be much room. Well, what I'm going to do first is just see if we can't even get it started. Does the window need to be, the glass need to be out of the way more? I think it might work. Is there anything that I can do to help? Not really. This is kind of a one person job. One person job now. Is there something that could help poke it in there a little bit better than a? Uh, I mean, I understand using the flat the flat head to try to get it underneath Smaller where shape. the screw goes, but maybe like a card or something to push it through. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I'm so scared you're going to rip that screen. I'm going to use the, the big end because the smaller one is a little sharper. I don't want to cut it. Yeah, I need something to... So I thought maybe if we had like a credit card or something, we could like slide it, try to poke it through. We don't ever use. Wasn't that a gift card that's out of? Money? Yeah, it's not. It's not any good anymore. That's actually a good idea. Thank you. What he's doing is using the card. That works really good. Good. He's using the card to push the screen in, yeah. so you can put the we screw got down. Low excess screen, which is good. We can just trim that when we're done. Yeah. I don't mind the excess. I really don't. You always want more than you need. Somebody said my videos were too shaky. And so I'm trying to do as much as I can. On so which video? Oh, it was the tent uh, review video. Oh, really? Yeah, they said that it was so shaky they couldn't finish watching it. And this camera doesn't have anything for motion, so I can't help that. I don't have a gimbal, so I'm trying to... To make this easier on everybody, I'm trying to do as much as I can with this on a tripod in the truck. So, but this is what he's doing, poking the car down. God, that really hurt my head. I'm sorry, babe. Thanks. Any of these... I'm not bleeding. Oh. Freaking stupid uh, square tip screws. I buy a $17 
kit for kit. one just for freaking, get, yeah. Uh, yeah, because you couldn't that's, buy this by itself. That's aggravating a snot too. This is not an advertisement for Target. And I know I got one at work, but the shop was locked up, so. Yep. <laughs> I'm not tightening anything up yet. I'm just okay. going to get them all started so I can try to get, the, get out the wrinkles. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. It's nice to actually have screen in. It's actually going quicker than I thought it would. Yeah, me too. And if there's a wrinkle or two, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not either. I just want, I just wanted a screen with no holes in it. And then once this is done, we can finish all the carpet. Finish the carpet trim. Sorry about the lighting, guys. We're backlit really bad right now. Okay, I need to open that up just a little bit. Do you want me to hold it open while you try to poke? Ah, uh, I think I did it. <laughs> yeah, it didn't sound good. Matt is no longer amused at my corny jokes. Yeah, I'm just... I know you're not a little bit short across. Let me loosen the bottom up a little bit. That's probably That's why that wrinkle is there. Cut them too short. Oh. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm going to leave that side in. Probably why I was doing that is because I was doing a double layer on the bottom, okay. and it took too much. Took too much of that Yeah, extra. too much of it. So I'm going to just do a single layer on the top. Okay, because I was going to say I really don't want to have to cut the screen again. Not that it was a pain or anything. I don't want to drill these things out again. Yeah. No, it was a. It wasn't a pain. I just am tired of having to repeat stuff. Why don't you try to poke it in all the way around and then put the screws in? Because it won't. It won't put itself in there. Okay. Yeah, there's no sense in filming both windows, uh -uh. to be honest. It's, a, it's the same. It's going to be the exact show, same process. Product. Yeah. So at least this should not be a 40-something minute video, especially after I edit out all the cursing from yesterday. Okay, now let's try this one. If you want me to hold something in with a card while you screw something down, well, that's the wind makes it... Out better. It's okay. Well, the, it looks uh, like it's out. pulling up here. A little bit, so it's getting a wrinkle out. He's just trying to trim off the ex excess with a box cutter. It's not going to be perfect. I just don't want it to be real, real noticeable. Yeah. It's not bad. It's a little loose. It looks good. For us, it's good For enough. us, it's really good. Yeah. So there it is. The screen is installed. Hold on. Okay. I do not know if you can see because of the backlight, but the screen is in. There's a little bit of a wrinkle right here but we're okay with that because it works the 
window shuts and latches and that is all that matters so that's it that is putting the screen we're not going to film the other one because that's redundant so the screen is in so yay it's, good job baby it's not a great job it's just it we but it's good for us, us. Yeah. we're not professionals yeah. we're just trying to do this for our own personal pleasure so it's good not job. very harsh it's tedious but thank you